As we approach the start of a new year, it's time to highlight some of the indie games to look forward to in 2023. This is by no means an exhaustive list and only includes titles that are listed as due to come out next year. First up we have Sea of Stars, a turn-based RPG that is inspired by the classics of the genre. Featuring Mario RPG style combat where pressing the button on attack will increase your damage and very pretty pixel art, the game promises a world that is constructed more like a platformer than a traditional grid based system. With players free to spend their time fishing, cooking and playing mini games, Sea of Stars is shaping up to be a must play RPG. Bob Rush Cyberfunk is on this list because it is trying to be a modern jet set radio, and for me that is enough. Like the legendary Sega title, your goal is to explore the city, carrying out tricks and avoiding okay, the police so as you spray graffiti you and increase your rep. Spread across the five burrows, this one's for you. There's a new kid around, and he is in your business. Where it says he's lost his head, he might be coming for yours next. Heard he's going for the crown. The crown. All city king. The streets just got a whole lot more interesting. I might even go check him out myself. Now, I don't think he'll be alone for long. He'll gather up a bunch of like-minded fools in no time. That's if the military police don't take him out first. This is war in style. Let the record spin. Hyperlight Breaker is the follow-up to the brilliant Hyperlight Drifter and sees the series move into 3D. Much like the first game, you are free to explore the world, fighting enemies with the overall goal to defeat the Abyss King. Footage appears to show an emphasis on traversal, which is perhaps something your heart machine has brought over from their previous game, Solar Ash. I'm looking forward to seeing how the developer moves the series into 3D. Next is Gestalt, Steam and Cinder, an action platformer, the demo for which I played early this year, and I was impressed with both the pixel art and the combat. The developers promise a twisting narrative, which is unusual for one of these games, and is something that adds to my interest in the title.
Storyteller is a puzzle game that asks the player to solve riddles by arranging scenes in a storybook in order to come to the correct solution. The player will be presented with a phrase and some scenes, characters and props. They then need to satisfy the phrase by putting the characters in the correct scenes in the right order. It looks like a fun little puzzle game with a good amount of humour. You see, as a storyteller, you tell the tall tales of love, royalty and betrayal, monsters and suspense, and shocking murder. Of course, sometimes characters get lost in the wrong place, show up at the wrong time, or sometimes they need a little nudge in the right direction. And it is up to you to lead these characters to the ending they deserve, for better or for worse. So if you can reunite the family, solve the mystery, reverse the curse, or even defy death, then maybe you can write the book of Storyteller. Coming soon. This next title is a game that wasn't on my radar until I played the demo during a Steam Next Fest. Dredge is on first glance a fishing game in which the player must go out in their boat each day and try and catch fish, with the goal of selling their catch for money in order to upgrade their boat so that they can catch more valuable fish. However, there is also a mystery to solve that revolves around the strange fog that envelops the archipelago each evening. Dredge has a very dour feeling to it, which pervades every part of the game from the muted colour palettes to the characters you meet. It feels like a really interesting world that I want to explore more of. Our next game is Maniko's Night Garden, a narrative game with a heavy focus on cats. It's a title that piqued my interest as soon as I saw the first trailer, and I have been following its progress ever since, with it finally getting a release in 2023. You play as Maniko, who has arrived on a small Japanese island that is having an issue with their cat god Abe, who has suddenly started to appear before the townsfolk. You must figure out what is going on, and discover the many secrets the island holds, all whilst making sure you craft items in time for the weekly night market. Siege and the Sand Fox is a title that I've been waiting to see release for what must be around five years by now. It was the pixel art that first caught my eye, and it remains a strong part of the game despite how much pixel art has improved in general since Siege and the Sand Fox was first shown. Build as a 2D Metroidvania, the key twist is that you must rely on stealth to make your way through the world as you aim to escape false imprisonment after watching the king get assassinated. Using parkour abilities, you must explore a huge world and bring the traitor to justice. It shouldn't be a surprise to see replaced on this list, as it wowed the public when it was first shown during E3 2021. Its mix of 2.5D graphics and alternative 1980s futuristic setting was enough to tickle the fancy of most, myself included, and despite the fact that not much more has been revealed about the game since, it remains one of my most anticipated games for 2023.
Finally, we have Shadows of Doubt, an open world stealth detective game, and if that isn't enough to excite you, I don't know what is. This game is probably the one title on this list that has the potential to be brilliant, but also because of the way the game is trying to marry a fully simulated world with a detective story, it could also end up being a massive disappointment. It's basically a detective simulator when you boil it down, asking you to go out and investigate in any way you see fit in order to solve the cases you have taken on. The world will carry on around you as NPCs go about their daily lives independently of the player. It's a very ambitious game, and I really hope the developers pull it off.